Hello my friends, it is I, Sir Reinhardt, and welcome into my first upload of 2019! Man, I am super excited for this year. This year will be the year of tier. And by that, I mean it's gonna be my year to do a lot of new things. There's gonna be a lot of variety coming to the channel. There's gonna be a whole host of updates. This year I get the NBN, so I'll be able to stream all the games for longer than like four hours. It's going to be so good, I'm so excited. But also, guys, how are you all? Happy New Year. Welcome into 2019. I hope your 2019 thus far has been profitable and productive. Uh, mine has certainly not been. No, I've been very lazy, but I'm going to remedy that starting with this video. So my friends, as you may or may not recall, last December I was invited out to Stockholm, Sweden, where basically we were given access to play a very early build of Anthem, something that I was absolutely smitten with because I love Bioware, I love, love RPGs, and this is like a match made in heaven. So it's a Bioware RPG slash looter shooter, and look, I couldn't be happier. I was super stoked when they invited me out, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity. So basically what I'm showcasing to you guys today is a very early mission in the campaign, and I'm playing with two of my new good friends, Arix from the YouTube channel, I will link his uh, description down in the box below, and also Robbie from Open World Games. You guys might know him better as that guy from Star Wars HQ. Amazing guys, and I couldn't have asked for a better fire team to do this mission with. Also, I really do need to thank Robbie for sending me over his intercepted gameplay. It just adds another layer of awesomeness to this video, and his perspective is very cool and so different from the, my Colossus gameplay. So again, thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate it. So Robbie is the green guy in the Interceptor, and Arix is the big red guy in my uh, opposite number in that Colossus, and... Uh, Oh boy, did we get up to some fun. So, this mission that we're on is called the Lost Arcanist, and it is a very early mission in the campaign, which basically serves as an introductory mission to the entire world. Uh, it is very, very easy for that reason. I mean, it's not too easy. I think we were playing on hard, and like, it, it was it was difficult, but it wasn't like, oh shit, we're all gonna die, run for the hills. In saying that, I was playing as the Colossus. As I mentioned before, the Colossus is like the, the juggernaut. He's the powerhouse. He is the, the Reinhardt if you will, of this game. He's a tank, he is a bullet sponge, and he is badass, man. He has a shield, he has a charge ability. I am all hands on deck for this guy. He is better than every other javelin. Prove me wrong. <laughs> but this guy is is friggin' awesome. He has so much firepower to bring to bear. Like, he has shoulder-mounted mortar cannon. He has a gorse rifle on his right hand. And this is only the basic beginner loadout, because again, we're playing at the very start of the game, so we didn't have access to any of the heavy duty or advanced weapons. This is his basic kit, and my god is it fun. It is so much fun. Robbie, conversely, in the Interceptor Javelin, uh, is all about flank and spank tactics. To me, he's like, he's very Genji. And by that, I mean like, he wants to get in, he wants to do damage with his melee weapons, but he can also get the hell out of dodge if he needs. He's also got, like, he has access to ranged abilities as well. Like, he's got grenades, and he's got, like, a, a rifle and all that sort of cool stuff. But where he shines, and as you've seen sort of so far, and you'll see later, his main focus is getting in, doing a shitload of damage, and getting out of dodge. Because he's basically a glass cannon. But he is no pushover by any means. You'll see further on in the uh, in the gameplay what I mean by that. He is, it's a lot of fun to play, and I kind of regret that I didn't get to try out more than you know, the Colossus as the Javelin. We did have access to the others, uh, so the Storm, the, the Ranger, and the Interceptor, but you know me, I, I'm a big guy. I go for the big tanks, because they're the best. <laughs> they really are. Tanks are like the best thing ever. So, to get back onto the lore of the mission, why we're here, we're here to recover a gentleman by the name of Matthias. Matthias is a part of a faction called the Arcanists, and basically they're like scientists, monk, spiritualists. It's, it's, they're really they're difficult to explain. But uh, think of them as predominantly scientists who are consistently trying to find new information about the world that we're on. All in all, it's a very solid introductory mission, and it does answer a few questions that we have, sort of scratching our heads at the start of the game, like, what does this mean? What does that do? What is going on? Basically, it's, it's a lot of fun, and I really did enjoy it. So with that being said, guys, I will leave you to watch the rest of this video. I'm sorry I've been prattling on for so long, but I just I had so much fun with this game, and I just want to keep talking about it. But there will definitely be more Anthem videos coming to the channel. I've got a lot more footage that I'm going to edit and get up as soon as we can, and it's going to be really good, guys. I'm, I'm excited about this. It is a very solid experience. And with that being said, I will let you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay footage. I love you all. Be good, and I will see you guys in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen, my friends.
Arcanist is not at the camp. Wait! I have an idea. That's the radio we were following. The scars were taking it apart. We fixed that. I bet we reach Revives. What's happening with the scars? Something has them enraged. Starting repairs. Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. Will you just let me... Oh, damn it! Oh, hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars, I'll figure it out. Radio signal. Are you okay? A little banged up, but fine. You see that ramp up ahead? The one with the statue? Head up there. What about scars near you? See anything? Had a few spots of trouble. Near misses. They're quite relentless. Wait, what's this? I found some canisters. Hmm. Could prove useful. Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. It'll be a contained explosion. I think we better hurry.
taken care of. Let's see to those scars. You got it. Matthias, give me an update. I think I see them. Just stay ahead. Oh, okay. Haven't been this far into the ruins. Just stay ahead of them. I'm nearly there. We've reached the tunnel. You're close. Main chamber just ahead. It's incredible. So mad, Matthias. I don't know. Never seen them like this. Someone check on Matthias. I think we're done. Everyone's safe. These scars. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and scars often clash over shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please, I need to return to Fort Tarsus. 